Many Taiwanese came back from overseas this week, but others have no choice but to stay where they are across the world. Some have decided to stay put to reduce the risk of bringing the virus into Taiwan. Others are struggling to cope with the, epidemic, the economic impact of the crisis or even suffering from anti-Chinese racism. Su Pongwen plays with her pets happily. She's looking on the bright side of a very hard situation. A Taiwanese software engineer, she lives in Seattle. With the epidemic raging, she drove 10 hours to a small town near Yellowstone National Park to take shelter. We're software engineers, so even if we're in the office, we're just sitting at our places coding. So working remotely is not a big deal for us. I was talking to some Taiwanese people who said they think Taiwan is safer now because the public health measures are working better and they really want to go home. But we don't want to take the virus back with us and harm the containment work. The strictest COVID-19 rules in the U.S. are in effect in the San Francisco Bay Area. Everyone is ordered to shelter in place wherever they are. This Taiwanese resident thinks the number of infections must be higher than official figures so far reveal. Unless you have really obvious symptoms or you've been in direct contact with a confirmed patient of COVID-19, they won't give you a test. Personally, I think the infection figures reported by the state of California may not be very accurate. Mr. Liu is also living in the U.S., studying at the world-famous Parsons School of Design in New York. He recounts experiences of anti-Chinese racism that have occurred since the pandemic took hold. Last month I was on the subway, sitting right at the edge, and I just coughed very slightly, like this. And a black guy comes up and says, man, you're disgusting, you're gross, and sprays me with disinfectant. He was really aggressive. I just said nothing. I sat through it. I felt really angry, but I didn't want to get into a fight. It feels a bit like the end of the world. It's like a ghost city. Times Square is normally packed 24-7, but now there's no one there. The stores around are all closed. A Taiwanese resident of London took these scenes of a cold deserted canary wharf and empty shopping centers echoing the reports from America. The pandemic has had a crushing impact on global economic centers and nobody knows when or if they'll be back to business as usual.